artificially reduced, I will defend him for that. You know, so then 17 local governments. President Bola Tinubu underlined his worries about the ouster of Gabon's Ali Bongo in a recent statement, saying that it has increased his concerns about the acts of coup plotters in the Niger Republic. President Tinubu stressed the importance of thoroughly pursuing diplomatic options when dealing with the military junta in the Niger Republic, before considering any type of military intervention. During a meeting in Abuja with members of the Nigeria Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, led by His Eminence, Muhammad Saad Abubakar III, the Sultan of Sokoto. Welcome to Africa Info Hub an educational channel dedicated to presenting Africa to the world through a renewed perspective on its rich history. Our mission is to shed light on the diverse and fascinating narratives that have shaped the continent. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. President Tinubu expressed his unease about the situation unfolding in Niger Republic, emphasizing that the events in Gabon served as a worrisome precedent for other African nations. He expressed the importance of addressing the issue of coup attempts decisively, both in Niger Republic and across the continent, to safeguard the stability and democratic processes of African countries. The meeting between President Tinubu and the leadership of the Nigeria Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs highlighted the significance of diplomatic dialogue and international cooperation in addressing regional challenges. As the situation in Niger Republic continues to evolve, President Tinubu's stance reflects a cautious yet measured approach to addressing the complex issue of coup attempts in Africa, while prioritizing regional stability and diplomatic solutions. A forceful overthrow of a democratic government, the president argued, is nevertheless illegal. Given our proximity to Niger Republic and the deep bonds between Nigerians and their fellow Nigerians, our ties are unbreakable. We have no interest in pursuing a path of war, especially when we witness the devastating consequences in places like Ukraine and Sudan. Nevertheless, if we fail to take decisive action, we will all bear the collective repercussions of these events. President Tinubu emphasized during the meeting. President Tinubu drew attention to a pivotal moment in Nigeria's history, specifically the transitional period under General Abdul Salami Abubakar, in 1998. During this time, Nigeria embarked on a nine-month transition program that yielded remarkable success, ultimately paving the way for a new era of democratic governance. Addressing the members of the council, President Tinubu passionately implored, please, let us not lose sight of our goal. We must remain steadfast and resolute in our efforts, as we will undoubtedly need to return to Niger Republic. The actions taken by the soldiers in Niger are simply unacceptable. He stressed the urgency of the situation, emphasizing the importance of prompt and positive adjustments by the military junta in Niger Republic. President Tinubu recognized the hardship and suffering that the sanctions imposed on Niger had caused, and underscored that the sooner the necessary changes were made, the quicker the international community could reconsider these sanctions to alleviate the plight of the Nigerian people. His words carried a powerful message of hope and determination in the face of adversity, emphasizing the need for constructive change in Niger Republic to restore peace and stability to the region. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.